What's up guys, it's Carter, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be spray painting these hundreds that I have here waiting down my Powertech lever gym. I'm going to be using some Plasti Dip uh, black rubberized paint. So, I chose this just because it's something I had laying around. I got a few cans of it, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. See how it comes out, so stay tuned. So first thing I'm gonna do is take a wet rag with a little bit of dish soap and just wipe these things down, making sure to get any of the dust any dirt, anything that's stuck to them so we get a good um, adherence from the paint. And then there's also a sticker that was on each one of these plates. I want to make sure to get all the adhesive off of there. And again, just anything that might be stuck to these plates that keep the paint from sticking. So you can see they were a little dirty. So I'm going to wipe these all the way down, let them dry off a little bit, and then get to it. I've got these things set up out in the back on some trash bags. I'm going to do it outside for good ventilation. And then I'm going to start off with a primer before, and I'm going to let that dry all the way. And then go ahead and do the first coat of the black Plasti Dip. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't advise using this stuff. I think it's, you know, it's supposed to be able to peel off. So. I wouldn't advise using it if you're going to be using these plates a whole lot. Really, I'm just using it because I have it laying around, and these are just going to be waiting down the Powertech lever gym. Not really going to be using them a whole lot, so I'm not really worried about it chipping off or peeling. So do keep that in mind. Now make sure to shake this stuff up really well. The instructions say to shake it up for about a minute. I already shook it up, so I'm going to go ahead and get to it. I got a clog. All right, so I had a clog in the nozzle. All I did was remove the nozzle, go wash it off with some hot water, make sure everything was clear, put it back on, and it's good to go. All right, and then I'm gonna let that dry and then turn these things over so I can get the other side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first coat of the black plastic dip. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and apply some more, make sure to uh, do a little bit of a more even coat and slower strokes. Now I would rather use uh, some cardboard as the protective layer, but all I had was a uh, some trash bags to use so I'm gonna go ahead and you know just take something to weight down the corners because if some wind comes through here I don't want it blowing up on the side of the uh, weights all right they seem pretty dry so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate them and put the rest of the coat of the primer on These things are about dry here, but I wanted to note that I did try this on something else first. I have an old uh, broken power block piece here, and I tried it on about half of this here, and it looks like it's going to hold up pretty well. A nice smooth flat black color. So uh, I would recommend uh, testing it on something else first, or at least in an inconspicuous area, whatever you're painting. And I don't think I'm going to be painting inside of the two inch hole 
because that's going to be sliding in and off of uh, weight horns and I really think it's going to start peeling anyway so I'm not even going to worry about it. All right, now that these things are pretty dry, I'm going to go ahead and put on the first coat of this plastic bit. All right, so just finished up the first coat, and yeah, definitely gonna need another coat. It's a little, a little spotty, so that's okay though. Covered it as well as I could without caking it on and getting drip. So we'll just do another coat like I had planned, and we'll see how it turns out. All right, these were pretty dry, so I went ahead and rotated them so I can do the second coat. All right, so these are starting to look pretty dry. We'll know it's a pretty warm day here in the DC area. It's about 60% humidity, so I know humidity can have an effect on how well these dry and how quickly they dry, but they seem to be doing well. It's been about 20 minutes since, since I applied the last coat, so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate these and do another coat and see how it looks. All right, so I went ahead and did another coat and they're looking pretty good and pretty even. Um, I really wish I had some cardboard to lay down instead of this bag because these really want to stick to the bag, but <clears throat> they're still coming out pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them dry for a while and come back and see what they look like. All right, so they're looking good and dry enough for me to bring them inside let them finish drying because it is pretty humid out there so I'm just gonna bring them in set them here and let them finish air dry all right so I got them in here just gonna let them dry in the cool house rather than out there in the humidity we'll check back on them in a little bit now some of this did get on my Trex deck so I'm gonna use the uh, use a mr. clean magic eraser so you can see it worked pretty well all right now they've been drying for a little while and uh, they look pretty good it looks it's a little blotchy there might not be quite dry there but we'll let them dry a little while longer it's only been about 20 minutes um, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint the lettering now I have these uh, rep old-school iron plates and they have the metallic lettering. So again, I just happen to have some metallic uh, pewter acrylic paint. So uh, that's what I'm gonna use. Should work pretty well for this lettering. So here's the finished product. Uh, painting the letters took me 20, 30 minutes. I actually did two coats. It ended up being a lot easier because the letters are raised. It wasn't as tedious as I thought. So I have the one I just did 
here next to one of the rep old school iron plates and they look pretty similar um, the silver is a little different um, reps is a little brighter a little more silver this color was actually a pewter color but they're close enough to match and I'm pretty happy with the outcome let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you have any questions let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one